on the mic and such a cash to her on our show a hiola. It's uh unto no koide go hard uh as this is if I thank Michael for nothing, where is Michael for nothing? Yeah, yeah. If I thank Michael for nothing, it's the fact that, that uh, he's asked me to launch his book, which meant it's my first visit to, to German Castle. I mean, even though it's it's in the parish, I I have nowhere to hide from Michael because I live straight straight across the road from him, and uh, when he when he dropped he drops in quite regularly some of uh, the beautiful um, newsletter, the poetry newsletter repost that he has, which is extraordinary. And what, what Michael epitomizes is, it reminds me always of the, of the need and the necessity uh, uh, to celebrate uh, uh, all types of activism at a local level. And activism comes in many different ways. You know, the, the, the most obvious ways is the man with the camera there, uh, Eric Byrne, who's uh, normally a politician should be in front of a camera, not behind a camera. So you're not going to get any votes for that. But, but they, and there, there's the role of the politicians, the role of the nurse, the role of the teacher. But there's the important role of the chronicler of our times and, there's a, and, and the reminder of where we've come from. And there's also the importance uh, of, of, of uh, the poet and the artist in the community. And Michael does that for our community, in, 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 particularly in Emmet Road, particularly in, in Inchicore, where there, there always needs to be a reminder of where we've come from, right, to remind ourselves. And, you know, my embarrassment is that I've never been in this building before, but now that I have, and certainly this excellent, uh, excellent uh, history uh, and, and the knowledge in this, particularly with the, the, the Barnard family and what I've known about that, going back, I mean, I mean looking at this and going, the, the earliest owner, excuse me now when I, when I look at the page, but the, the earliest owner of Drimna, whose name is recorded in the state papers related to Ireland, appears in 1216 in the person of Hugh de Barnwell. And the connection between that and where we are, where we are today, is an important one because, you know, yes, we're going to struggle through with the IMF and the ESB and the FAI and the uh, CIE and all the other uh, and, uh, uh, that, that we have to deal with. But we have to remind ourselves that we're only a blip of what has happened. And the fact that this building you know, represents a part of our culture, a part of our heritage, a part of our history, and that, that that's a can, that notion of what happened in this, organ, in this building can sustain communities and the connection. And the fact that this building is connected to a school that I see, Dec uh, I spoke to Declan earlier, the fact he, he went to the school, there's the connection. And I tweeted earlier that I'm coming here, and I've got like seven or eight tweets people say back to me, God, I was at that school in the connection, wishing Michael all the best. People that even know you, Michael, were actually now wanting to know, uh, so I won't take either credit or a commission when I, when I sell this on. To, get to, out from the tax man, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's important, and I think, I think the role of the artist and the role of, of the local historian in to continue to kind of make our communities resolute, make our communities uh, complete and remind us is very, very important, and nowhere so than, than no more man than, than Michael does that. And I think the, the arts, are, uh, and what I mean by the arts is the broad arts. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I run the National Theatre, I run the Abbey Theatre, I deal with, with new plays, but I'm also, I also deal with, with artists uh, of all sorts, and I, and I never distinguish between a successful artist and not a successful artist, a musician, a playwright, an art, a writer, a painter. For me, they're all part of the same family, and they're all and it's actually it's it's that community of artists that tell our stories and what 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 the, one of the one things and Neil Jordan said this two years ago the one community that didn't let the the the, uh, the, uh, the country down are the were the artists where where we were able to tell the stories and weren't afraid to slag off uh, what was happening nationally or internationally and and that's important and we have that reputation the reputation that we have a living you know poet the Nobel Prize winner Seamus Heaney who continually uh, uh, brings a, a very very important. Uh, uh, glow of recognition and, and, and uh, acknowledgement to this, this country where our politicians have let us down. And there's a lot of poets and a lot of writers in this, in this uh, room today that I'm humbled to be, to be a part of. But, and, I, and I acknowledge that. And I acknowledge, for instance, somebody like, like Brush here. Somebody like Brush is on his contribution. I know Brush is here because uh, Michael forced him to be here. It's not just that we're here. And um, it's, not, it's, on the, it's on the tape, so I don't it's know if it's <laughs> But it's, but it's important to acknowledge uh, that the, the bro, uh, Bush's uh, role in the community and his, you know, always half full approach to, 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 to repairing and, and acknowledging and supporting the communities. And that's something that I always, in, in my role in the Project Arts Centre, in my role in the Abbey Theatre, that, that, that's important to me. And I want to acknowledge Michael's role and Michael's contribution. Uh, I'm an ordinary member of my community. I, I do very little in my community except uh, 
hopefully paying the household's charge when we have <laughs> haven't paid that yet. But, um, it, it, but, but that, that Michael's continual, uh, and obviously his, the support from Elaine and the, and the family, his continual kind of commitment. And, and without him and without Liam, I wouldn't have re revisited the work of Francis Ledger, for instance, you know, and the work that you've done. And you've done it quietly. I wasn't at any of the Francis Ledger's commemorations, but I, uh, I, I was aware of it and admit that I, I, I bought a, the book of poetry. I know that you worked on, you worked on them, or you published, haven't you, the, the Henry Joe... Um, McCracken. So there's a, for me, there's, there, there, you, you, there's a service that you provide us, which is a service I know that comes from your heart, from your own generosity, uh, and it's something that, that I appreciate, but I know that the community appreciate, and I'm very proud that you that you've asked me to uh, to, 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 to launch uh, to launch this. Now, uh, Michael, the the, the, the Barnwell story is extraordinary as well, because this whole book, the, the the genealogy of this book is, is here. The amount of research I commend you on all the research Michael you've done, and then when you go from what I, from, from the the, uh, my, the the 12, 12 16 to the final page, don't worry, I did read the whole book, but I did read the, uh, the, the final page, is that, you know, and again, I'll just read it this bit, because in a way, it kind of reminds us that actually, we're, we're about to come to an end of an era with the Barnwell family, in a way, and uh, that's yeah, something, that's uh, and, that's, uh, uh, and I, Michael has reminded us of this, so there, there's this, the 20th Baron Trimbleston, Lord Trimbleston, died at the age of 69 on the 19th of August, 1997, his name was Anthony Edward Barnwell, and this book goes through the history of where, uh, of the very, ch the different changes of the name Barnwell, from the Barnwell and all the way through, I won't. But it's all, it's all easily accessible in, in this book. But then he was a veteran of the Irish Guards. By the time he succeeded to the title in 1990, he lived in Michigan, being married to a daughter of the late Judge Thomas Francis McAllister of the United States Courts of Appeal. His brother Raymond Barnwell, who lives in England now, succeeds to this title, but he is apparently the, la the very last of the line. The title, which is in the peerage of Ireland and thus carries no seat in the Lords, dates to 1461, making it the oldest title to have no heir in prospect at the present time and appears headed for extinction. So, in a way, you're marking time, you're marking, you're making that, those lovely connections between the local history, between world history, between Drimna Castle and, 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 and the, the history in our, in our community. And I really, really want to, I'm very, very proud to, 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 to launch this book. Michael, as you know, he's an extensive CV. I got to know him first when I moved into Emmett Road in about 90, 1991, and his first connection was uh, his work and his, and his uh, valuable collection, uh, particularly video of Phil Linnish and, and, yeah. and that's how, as my, that was my connection. And was, uh, that was way back, and I was dead impressed that the, 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 the guy across the road had that connection. But uh, he's a member of uh, Christian Shasta of Institute of Heron and Uno the Fiersig. He's a member of the Regeneration Board of St. Michael's State, which is now an ongoing. I spoke to a young artist. Uh, a woman called uh, Grace Dias, who's working with yeah. the local community at the moment on, I think it's going to be a fantastic project uh, called uh, called History, and it's going to be looking at the history of, of, of Inchi Corps, and there's a lot of that history that's still, that's still to be told and still to be reported on, and I expect, I, I'm hoping, I, I'm dying to find out what your next book is around, around that. You're also Secretary of Council Wynan, the Kilmaino and Inchi Corps Heritage Group, mm -hmm. and you're Secretary, as I said before, of the, uh, the Inchi Corps uh, Legendary Society. So really, all I have to say is buy the book. It's a fiver. If you sign the name, it's four quid. Okay. So, uh, uh, but uh, no, joking aside, I'm very, very proud, and I'm deeply humbled that he asked me to launch this, and I proudly, uh, I'm, I'm very proud. I guess got married to in Laurishaw, Michael. I guess I'm on a road to the Laurishaw launch. All the history of the Rubies.